Warren Buffett. Life and Rules. Warren Edward Buffett is born on August 30, 1930, in Omaha, Nebraska. After predicting to a childhood friend he will be a millionaire by the time he is 35, Buffett buys his first stock at the age of 11. Looking back, he laughingly told, I don't know why I wasted the time beforehand. I got started late. Buffett pays $38.25 each for three shares of City Service Preferred. It falls to around $27, then rebounds to $40, prompting Buffett to sell at a small profit. It later tops $200 per share, teaching him a crucial lesson about the value of patience. In 1943 Buffett family moves to Washington. Buffett's father, who owns a small brokerage firm, runs for Congress as a supporter of the gold standard, winning the first of three terms. Buffett delivers newspapers and tries various business ventures. He arrives with around $120 and leaves several years later with $10,000. Throughout his teens, Buffett reads voraciously and tries a number of investment techniques. Then, in 1949, while a student at the University of Nebraska, he reads The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. It profoundly shapes his investing philosophy, providing him with the three basic principles that will guide him from then on. On April 19, 1952, Buffett marries Susan Thompson. After working for two years in New York with his mentor, Ben Graham at Graham Newman, Buffett returns to Omaha in 1956. At the age of 25, he starts a partnership with seven investors, including his father-in-law, his sister Doris, his aunt Alice, and a college roommate. The initial investments total just over $105,000. Buffett puts $100 of his own money into the partnership. His fee is 50% of profits above a 4% gain, but he also agrees to cover 25% of any losses. Two years after starting his first partnership, Buffett is doing well enough to afford a house, paying $31,500. Despite becoming one of the world's richest people over the next 60 years, he doesn't trade up. At the 2014 annual meeting, he tells shareholders, I have everything in life I want. My life would not be happier, and it'd be worse, if I had six or eight houses or, you know, a whole bunch of different things I could have. It just doesn't correlate. After several years of acquiring what he sees as undervalued shares of Berkshire Hathaway, a struggling textile mill in New Bedford, Massachusetts, Buffett takes control of the company in 1965. Even though it will grow into a giant conglomerate worth more than $500 billion in 2018, Buffett calls the purchase one of his biggest mistakes. In 1972, Berkshire cautiously buys a small California-based candy maker for a fully valued $25 million. It becomes one of Buffett's favorite investments, a dream business with strong brand loyalty that churns out cash and needs almost no new capital. Munger recalls it as an important lesson. It is the first time they really stepped up for brand quality. And it was a hard jump for us. We'd been used to buying dollar bills for 50 cents. In May, 1983, the price of one share of Berkshire Hathaway stock tops $1,000 for the first time. Warren Buffett loves to drink Cherry Cokes and he loves Berkshire's investment in Coca-Cola. At the end of 2017, Berkshire's almost 10% stake in the company is worth $18.4 billion. That's a staggering gain of over 1,300% from its $1.3 billion cost basis. Buffett credits the soft drinks company's decades of advertising for building a mindshare that can't be matched by competitors. Gates and Buffett first meet when Buffett is invited to dinner with Gates' parents at their Washington State vacation home. Gates resists his mother's invitation to join them, telling her, look, he just buys and sells pieces of paper. After reluctantly agreeing to attend, he finds himself lost in conversation with Buffett. He was funny, but what impressed me most was how clearly he thought about the world. It was a deep friendship from our very first conversation.
In November, 1992, the price of one share of Berkshire Hathaway stock tops $10,000 for the first time. The market value of the company is $14.9 billion. In January, 1998, the price of one share of Berkshire Hathaway stock tops $50,000 for the first time. The market value of the company is $76.4 billion. In 1999, at height of internet bubble, Buffett warns that investors are expecting far too much, speaking in July at Allen & Company's annual Sun Valley Media Conference. Buffett argues that too many people believe the dramatic stock gains since 1981 will continue for the following 17 years. But, he says, it is unrealistic to think that corporate profits and the economy will grow enough to keep fueling the bull market expectations. And while he agrees the internet will change the world, he points out that very few investors at the beginning of the 20th century were able to pick the winners from two other transformative technologies, cars and airplanes. In June 2006, Buffett teams with Gates Foundation to give away almost all his wealth. Rather than go through the distraction and expense of creating his own charity, Buffett outsources most of the work to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. He says, what could you find that's better than turning to a couple of people who are young, who are ungodly bright, whose ideas have been proven, who already have shown an ability to scale it up and do it right. In October, 2006, the price of one share of Berkshire Hathaway stock tops $100,000 for the first time. The market value of the company is $162.6 billion. In 2008, Buffett writes by American. I am. Near the height of the credit crisis following the September 15th collapse of Lehman Brothers, the New York Times publishes an article by Buffett headlined, By American. I am. A simple rule dictates my buying, be fearful when others are greedy, and be greedy when others are fearful. And most certainly, fear is now widespread. While he later admits he is a bit early, Buffett's long-term optimism leads Berkshire Hathaway to invest in troubled companies including Goldman Sachs and General Electric, producing billion in profits in the following years. On February 15, 2011, at a White House ceremony, President Obama calls Buffett not only one of the world's richest men, but also one of the most admired and respected. Obama praises him for demonstrating that integrity isn't just a good trait, it is good for business and for devoting the vast majority of his wealth to those around the world who are suffering, or sick, or in need of help. On April 17, 2012, Buffett reveals he has been diagnosed with stage 1 prostate cancer. But, he assures shareholders, the good news is that I've been told by my doctors that my condition is not remotely life-threatening or even debilitating in any meaningful way. In September, after completing two months of daily radiation treatments, Buffett is so glad to say that's over and jokes about his long-standing plan to be the world's oldest man. In August, 2014, the price of one share of Berkshire Hathaway stock tops $200,000 for the first time. The market value of the company is $338.2 billion. In December, 2017, the price of one share of Berkshire Hathaway stock tops $300,000 for the first time. The market value of the company is $489.4 billion. Buffett annoys crypto enthusiasts worldwide when he warns long-term investors to stay away from Bitcoin, predicting in terms of crypto, generally, I can say with almost certainty that they will come to a bad ending. When or how, he adds, I don't know. The idea that it has some huge intrinsic value is just a joke in my view. Warren Buffett, Great Quotes and Thoughts Someone is sitting in the shade today, because someone planted a tree, a long time ago. Price is what you pay. Value is what you get. Chains of habit are too light to be felt, until they are too heavy to be broken. Rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. 
It takes 20 years to build a reputation, and 5 minutes to ruin it. If you think about that, you'll do things differently. Predicting rain doesn't count, building arcs does. Wall Street is the only place that people ride to in a Rolls Royce, to get advice from those who take the subway. Only buy something that you'd be perfectly happy to hold, if the market shut down for 10 years. In the business world, the rearview mirror is always clearer than the windshield. Honesty is a very expensive gift. Don't expect it from cheap people. Forecasts may tell you a great deal about the forecaster, they tell you nothing about the future. Opportunities come infrequently. When it rains gold, put out the bucket, not the thimble.